All right, so for this week's bonus video, we're back on the bonus videos um, now that you guys are hopefully caught up with the instructional videos. Um, since I'm making a series about tactics, I figured I would do another bonus video on puzzles. So here we go. Alrighty then. This, I don't know if you, we would call this a tactical theme, but there's obviously a mating net. So the queen is cutting off the A file, the rook is cutting off the C file, so I'm immediately looking for checkmate threats, and I found one. Wabam! Outstanding! Okie doke. So again, this looks like a, a similar situation in that there's, there seems to be a mating net, right? Like the rook is cutting off the king, and so he's trapped in this little box. So I'm thinking that, you know, my bishop's involved to an extent, my rook's involved, my queen's not involved in this little mating net. So I think, I think the answer must be to bring the queen in. Yep. And now, let's see, what's the finisher? Probably rook here. Yeah, and then king h3 is forced, and then queen g4 checkmate. Don't see. All right, so this should be, like, hopefully very familiar to you guys by now. These two pieces targeting the f7 pawn. And also, just to give you a sense of, like, tactics, like, or when you're solving puzzles, so I don't know how relevant this is for a real game, but when you're solving puzzles... You know, there's no point in looking at any of these pieces. Like, a lot of times you guys are looking at, like, every piece. But, like, you know, be kind of um, systematic in your thinking. So start with the pieces that look like they are the most likely to be involved. Obviously, the bishop and knight. Um, so here, I have two options. I could take with the knight or I could take with the bishop. The answer is definitely take with the knight um, because then it's a fork of the queen and the rook. And there would be no real follow-up either after I took with the bishop. The king would come up, and that would be the end of it. Impressive. So I would have only won a pawn. Okay. So my queen's under attack. Ah, here we are. So this is what we would consider a pin. The pawn, believe it or not, is pinned to the rook. If this pawn were to move... Diagonally, it would expose the rook. And actually, yeah. So watch this. Knight takes. And then if pawn takes, queen takes check. So it would be um, a rook and a pawn for a knight. So I'd go up three points. Wonderful. All right, so this is another tactical motif called smothered mate where the king has no escape squares, and so the knight can deliver checkmate. Fatality. Okie doke. So I am in check. I have one, two, three attackers against the piece putting me in check, and there's only two defenders. So this is a chance to win a piece. Alrighty, um, so this is a situation where I can force a back ranked mate. Bishop d4 check, and then his only, his, his best move, I mean if you can call it that, is to block with his bishop, delays the inevitable one move, then I take, and then he's forced into the corner, and I deliver a back ranked mate, either here, here, or here. Um, here's the most efficient. And then he could block with his bishop again, and then I take again. So here, the point is, if I were to deliver the check first, and this bishop was on its original square on, on a1, the white king could escape. So I have to force the king back into the corner before I deliver the back rank mate. Finish him!
Okay, so this is a good example of something that we've covered in the recent video. This is a discovered attack. So I can take the knight, which looks like a fair trade, right? Pawn just takes back, but I'm revealing an attack on the other knight. So now pawn takes, queen takes knight. I go up a knight. 